Disney Day. It is 3 a.m. and today I am traveling down to Walt Disney World. We are going to be staying at the three resorts, Boardwalk, Boulder Ridge, and the last day on Saturday, Grand Floridian. Today it takes 16 hours in the car ride to get to Orlando, Florida from Pennsylvania, so let's do it together. South Carolina we stopped somewhere for lunch and to change our outfits since we are still in our pajamas I'll still be taking some scenery of South Carolina and when we get to Georgia I'll tell you Georgia, you saw the sign, and it is raining pretty bad. So, hopefully, this is only a Georgia thing because if this continues like this in Florida, uh, we're gonna have a problem <laughs> because that means it's gonna rain when we're in Disney, and you don't really want that to happen. And I'm sure, I'm sure it won't continue all day, but it doesn't look like it's going to stop. And luckily we are inside of the car, moving, so... Back there, we just crossed into the state of Florida. We are almost there. Uh, what time is it? It is three o'clock, so almost three hours until we are in Orlando and we are on Disney property. gentlemen boys and girls we are on Disney property That's because I'm terrified of police. I can't do it. But when you finally get to Walt Disney World, 
it is amazing. <laughs> and I track my uh, our progress on my phone because I have Google Maps open and progressively seeing the hours tick by and when you finally get here it's the most rewarding thing in the planet. Staying at Boardwalk obviously for what is it four nights and then we're transitioning to Boulder Ridge and then the final night is going to be Grand Floridian because Grand is very 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 expensive and we need to use some DVC points so we're going to scratch that off the bucket list. I've got my bag here we're loading the luggage right over there so let's go check out our room. So welcome into a boardwalk resort room I'm going to give you a little tour really quick. I think we should start out here which is our, which is our magnificent view of the Skyliner and everybody where we just were actually we don't have a we don't have a, uh, a boardwalk view so we can have a great actually this is is a pretty cool I can get some good b-rail out here of the of the Skyliner and the and the boardwalk So this is the master bedroom. We have a TV over there is the bathroom. And then some uh, some pictures of some boardwalk scenery along with, you know, the usual bed and lamps. Let me show you the bathroom and our ginormous tub. So, hello, basic sink things, mask reveal. <laughs> and this is our... This thing is absolutely ginormous, and it has, so this are, these are actually jets that should be in a hot tub, except this time it's in, it's in a bath, so it's pretty sweet. I, I tried this last time that we stayed at Boardwalk, we've stayed at it twice now, and uh, they are pretty nice. And uh, for some also privacy, these don't move. Yes, they do. There we go. I thought they did. What's the matter? Here we go. Look at that. Let me show you the outer area. You know what? You know what? Before that, let me at, let me show you the extension of the bathroom. So it's gonna get pretty loud. This is the actual master shower, if you can call it that, with the glass doors. I love it. And then the reason it's an extension is because, boom, look at that, door into the other bathroom. So I probably should have started here because this is where you actually enter and we've got a, a closet back here and then this is the main living area with the kitchen with oven and fridge oh there's boardwalk pizza in here nice and then mini freezer with the table and then TV over there. We are on our way to the Yacht and Beach Club to get to, to go to the marketplace and get some very, very good food. We've already mobile ordered, so we have to hurry down to the marketplace.
they're doing some work on the entrance of Beach Club and Yacht Club. And over there is the entrance of Cape May Cafe. Right over there is Storm Along Bay, the pool for the Yacht and Beach Club. I would say that is one of the best pools in all of Walt Disney World. We got our food, we're heading back to Boardwalk, but we have a cool shot of Storm Along for you. This pool is absolutely massive. It stands in between the two beach and yacht clubs and even has another section over here. So yeah, it's pretty big. And it also has the giant Storm Along Bay water slide. Before I go up to the room and eat the food that we got, I wanted to show you the newly reimagined Keister Coaster back behind me here. And yes, I will be swimming in here. My trunks are in the room, of course. So this used to be the scary clown pool, as I called it, because the clown was terrifying, but Disney decided to revamp it and put the Keister Coaster in. I think this is so much better than the, than the clown pool. It's not even it's not even funny how, be how much better this is. The loop starts up there. Goes down here, circles around, circles around one more. Comes out. Whoop. Out there. We are back at the room now. I just finished up my sandwich from the Market Club. And uh, yeah, so that is day one. Uh, didn't do much at Disney World because I'm basically just going to edit and go to bed because tomorrow we have Hollywood Studios and we're going to get up kind of early. So I'm going to go put this all together and I will see you in the next one. Have a magical day, everybody.